Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, what we're starting to do here is mix in some decimals with fractions. We're multiplying by, by fractions or with fractions a lot, and now we're going to start transitioning using decimals, converting fractions back to decimals, decimals back to fractions, and showing all of this uh, on some charts and things and how it's going to work out. So let's begin. Uh, what's happening here in the first problem, they model it out for you completely, which is nice. They're giving you one-tenth times one-tenth, or I want one-tenth of one-tenth. So what they did is to take a grid here, this is one whole, and they split it up into tenths, as you can see. All these are split into tenths as they go. And then I took one-tenth of that, or they took one-tenth of that. So of these tenths, and there are ten of them, they take one-tenth of that. And if you take one-tenth of one-tenth, you wind up with one little square, and that's worth one out of the 100, because there are 100 such boxes. Okay, and then they wrote that out for you a little bit. They, this winds up being 1 times 1, here's your 10 times 10, here's your 1 times 1 giving you 1, and your 10 times 10 giving you 100. Uh, so in other words, 1 tenth, as in 1 tenth as a decimal, 1 tenth as a decimal gives you 1 hundredth, because 1 over 100 is 0 0.01 as a decimal, 1 one hundredth. Okay? Uh, let's work one of these so it doesn't look so confusing when I just kind of rifle through it. Uh, let's take uh, one-tenth of one and six-tenths. Now, what you need to understand here is this. We need to break this down or decompose this a bit uh, into more of a unit form uh, number that can work here. I don't want to deal with two units. I want to deal with one unit. So if I have six in the tenths and I have one in the ones, that one in the ones is really ten, uh, ten-tenths. Ten-tenths, it's kind of like ten dimes kind of thing. So I want to keep the... I want to shove those 10 tenths with those 6 tenths. So in other words, I'm going to wind up with 16 tenths. Okay? Uh, 10 of them coming from the 1 in the 1's place, and 6 of them coming from the 6 in the tenths place. And that I'm going to multiply by 1 tenth. I can keep that as a fraction if I want, but I just want to show it to you in unit form. So... Let's bring it all back down to back to fractions here. So here's my one tenth again, and my sixteen tenths now is going to look like this: sixteen tenths, sixteen over ten. Um, so what I want here is sixteen of these tenths. Notice I have two grids. Each of these grids is, grids is worth one whole. Here they are. They're worth one whole. They're split into tenths for me going down as far as columns are concerned. So I want 16 of these tenths. So I want this. I want actually two. I want 16 of these. So I'm going to wind up with all 10 of these from this box. Okay, I'm almost there. Nine, ten. So that's 10 of the tenths. I need six more. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So there are my 16 tenths. I need to take one tenth of those. So of my 16, notice going this way, these are all split into tenths for me. So I want just one of those. So I want these guys right here. Because that's one tenth of this area, and I want this tenth of this area here. Okay. Now if I count them up, I wind up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of these things, 16 of these boxes. Now I just need a value. The boxes, there are 100 boxes for each one hole. So each one hole is split into hundredths. Therefore, I have 16 boxes, and each box is a hundredth, so I have 16 hundredths. Okay? Now, uh, as far as uh, working this algebraically, uh, sorry, as far as an algorithm is concerned, I have one-tenth times 16. We can solve it this way as well. And I know that my 1 times my 16 will give me 16. My 10 times my 10 will give me 100. And I can get an answer that way. I can bring this back down and turn these into decimals if I want. If I have 16 over 100, that means I have 16 hundredths. 16 hundredths. There they are like that. Okay. Um, I can also use a place value chart to help me out here. Kind of throwing a lot of things at you here, but that's okay. Here's my decimal. Here's my decimal. And here's my 1.6 value. 
And if I'm going to be multiplying, what's interesting is if I'm going to be multiplying by one tenth, which is what I did, what happens is my answer winds up over here on my place value chart, which means if I multiply by one tenth, I'm actually losing a place value for each of the digits. So the one in the ones place becomes a one in the tenths place. The six in the tenths place becomes a six in the hundredths place. Okay, so uh, one tenth is actually uh, kind of like saying I'm um, taking one tenth of that uh, original 1.6. So I'm taking a tenth of the 1.6. And if I'm taking a tenth, since my place values are worth 10, I'm taking a piece of that, a small piece of that. And so now I'm losing a place value. Uh, kind of interesting when you look at it that way. Okay. Uh, taking a look at the next page. Now they're actually working some things out nicely here. They're taking your 4 times 6 tenths. You notice they converted the 6 tenths into fraction 6 tenths. Here's your 4 times 6 times 10. You wind up with 24 over 10. And they convert that back into a decimal because if I have 24 tenths, that means I have 2 whole and 4 tenths to go with it. Uh, taking a look at the next problem here, same type of thing here. I'm going to take my 7 and my 3 tenths like this. Now I'm going to take my 7, multiply it by my 3 over 10, and I wind up with 21 over 10, which means I have 21 tenths, or I have two ones and one tenth. All right. Not so bad, not so bad. And then for the word problem, let's take care of one of these word problems. Let's talk about Jennifer for a moment. We have Jennifer here. She makes 1.7 liters of lemonade. And what she's going to do, she's going to pour three-tenths of that lemonade in a glass. So how many liters of lemonade are actually in the glass now? So um, I need 1.7 liters. So let's draw this one. Okay, there's going to be one liter. Here's going to be my second liter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need 1.7 liters, which means I need 17 tenths. And I can actually write that in like this. I need one. I need 17 tenths. So I need to color in, or shade in, all of these once again. That's my fourth tenth, my fifth tenth, six. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's my tenth, tenth. I need seven more. So here's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There are my 17 tenths, and I want three tenths of that. So I need to take, I need to take three tenths of the 17 tenths. Okay, so I'm going to split these now into tenths again. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, the drawings can take a while. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so I need three of those tenths. So I want all these guys. I'm going to take three of these tenths. I want these guys here, and I want three-tenths of this block here. And all I have to do is count these up. So if I count them, I have uh, 30 over here. And I have not 30, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 21 over here for a total of 51. Now, once again, these are all split into 100. So they're all worth 1 100th. So I have 51 one hundredths. There they are. And if I turn that into a decimal, I have 51 hundredths, or 0.51. Now, if I was to show that as an algorithm, I would take, I am now taking my 3 tenths of my 1.7 liters. 
uh, which means now I have 3 tenths. I can turn that to some fractions here. 17, 1.7, or 17 tenths. And if I multiplied, I get 51 over 100, because my 17 times 3, there's a 1, there's a 3, 4, 5, there we go. There's my 51 one hundredths, which is my 0 0.51, that's 51 hundredths. Um, so, Jennifer has 51 hundredths liters uh, in her glass, or in the glass. And there you are. Okay? So, uh, that's what we worked on today. Um, yeah, taking care of uh, fractions and decimals, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, thanks so much, folks. Take care. So long.